dying on a plane. I said, no, I do not fear death. I look at death philosophically. Death to me is like a Bob Hope special. You know what's coming. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. <laughs> but I've been, I was in Las Vegas. It's supposed to be the glitter capital of the world. It's everything is money oriented. I went to church Easter Sunday morning to take communion. There was a two oh, Bob Zaney. You know, hey, it's a small I world, huh? <laughs> oh, Jamie Farr. I'm a big fan of yours, big fan. And I love that show, MASH. I love it. Hey, Jamie, it's good to see you back in men's clothes again, huh? <laughs> hey, you mind if I join you? Do we have a choice? <laughs> Listen, Bob, I'm doing an HBO show, and I'd love you to be in it, you know? Hey, come on, we came here to watch Fred Willard. We're not interested in your show. So Tony says, are you crazy? That wasn't my wife, that was my priest. Hey, I love you, baby, I love you, baby, love you. Come on, it's gonna be a really big show, huh? Rodney, you're getting to be very annoying. All right, that's it, you're gonna have to leave our table. Yeah, well, who are you? I'm Zany's manager. Yeah, I heard about you. You take stars and make unknowns out of them. Hey, come on, what are you doing? Hey, 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 what's the problem out there? What's the commotion? Turn on the house lights, let's see what's going on. Holy cow, we have a celebrity table. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome one of my favorite actors from MASH, Jamie Farr. Thank you for being here, Jamie. That's not all. Keep that applause going for Rodney Dangerfield. I thought he was here. I heard there was a rumor he was in the house. Welcome one of my favorite comics, my hero, the funniest guy in the business today, Bob Zaney! Bob Zaney! 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 Let's see if we can get up here to say hello. Come on up here, Bob. This is the crowd right here. Woo! A lot of people, a lot of people ask me if Bob Zaney is my real name, and I'll be honest, it isn't. My real name is Big Dick McGee. <laughs> oh, you gotta love a mom who names you Big Dick, huh? That's a woman with a vision. <laughs> Problem. And, uh,. <laughs> Oh, man, I love what women say. I recently just lost a lot of weight. I used to be really big. I don't tell people how much I lost because they think it's a joke, a setup for one, and it's, it's not. Well, I lost 175 pounds. And, uh, yeah. I knew I was big. I knew it. I saw a bumper sticker. It said, lose weight now. Ask me how. So I asked the guy. He said, go on a diet, you fat pig. <laughs> Thank you for laughing at my emotional scar. I was big. I went to a fat farm. They made it a ranch. <laughs> I'm we're talking big. I had a talking scale, had a female voice. I got on and she said, could I get on top? <laughs> Monstrous. I had a cholesterol test. They found bacon. <laughs> big chunks of it, baby. <laughs> so... All those jokes lead to this next one. I'm with this woman. This is a true story. She says, Bob, you lose 100 pounds, I'll fuck you. I said if I lost 100 pounds, I wouldn't want to fuck you. It's now or never, baby. I was at Denny's the other day, ordered pigs in a blanket. They brought me a picture of my parents in bed. <laughs> you could imagine my surprise. I thought I bought the negative. <laughs> Love my parents. Love my parents. They were the best growing up. No pressure within for my future. They said, do what you want as long as you're happy. So I kicked him out of the house. 
believe me, I was happy. It's about time anyway, in their 50s, still living at home. I mean, get a job. Do something with your life, so I can't carry your ass as much more. I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't have a father. I'll, um, I was illegitimate. Yeah, I know, it's hard to believe. Yeah. I knew who he was, though. I'll give him this much. He tried to be my dad. Every year, like clockwork, he'd take me to the Fathers and Bastards picnic. <laughs> Funny man, too. Great sense of humor about being overweight as a kid. He'd take me in the backyard, throw me in the pool, and yell, Be free, Shamu. <laughs> you know, I just saw on TV today, they brought it back, the Sizzler commercial. You know, the three ladies going to lunch? The one goes, hey, I don't have a lot of time. Sizzler. The other lady goes, hey, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Sizzler. It's like if you say Sizzler that way, everything's going to work out in life. Hey, I think I have a yeast infection. Sizzler. I haven't gone to the bathroom in over a week. Sizzler. Did you hear they destroyed the racehorse secretariat? Sizzler. <laughs> I'll have that all you can eat, hoofer and shrimp, baby. <laughs> You're a fun group. You like doing fun things? <laughs> fun to do and also good to do, you guys, is goof around on a job application. Have you ever done that, Sparky? <laughs> oh, it is so simple. The goof around on a job application, the questions they ask, it's so... Like, are you hard of hearing? I wrote, what? <laughs> Have you ever been convicted of a felony? I went down murder twice. You don't hire me, I'll kill you too. <laughs> Under print name, I put N-A-M-E. <laughs> I knew you'd get that one. <laughs> Name three character references. <laughs> I put Manny, Mo, and Jack. <laughs> three best friends I ever had. <laughs> There's more. Under date, I put small edible fruit. <laughs> There's another. What, what position are you seeking? <laughs> I put doggy style. <laughs> but it continues. Are you an American citizen? I put C. <laughs> So I got the job. I'm, I'm an air traffic controller. I'm at the weirdest point of my life right now. I'm at the point where I don't know what's right or wrong sometimes. You ever get that way, Sparky? Well, see, I know what's wrong, but my feeling is if it's so wrong, who's it gonna hurt, you know? Let me ask you if this is so wrong. When you wake up in the morning and the cat's licking your penis, <laughs> And you, and you don't push it away. Is that so wrong? Hey, I didn't provoke it. I don't want to hurt little Tabby's feelings. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, Daddy's got you a tender vittle. <laughs> Baby. I like being cool. I think James Bond in the movies is like the coolest man that ever lived. When it came to women, Sparky, if he wanted a woman, what do you have to do? What? All he had to do was go, Bond. James Bond. And they would be together. That is so impressive. So I gave us a try last night. I was at the El Torito. And I know I'm name dropping again. And... 
Very attractive lady there. I couldn't help myself. Had to go up to her. Just went, zany. Bob, zany. She said, off. Fuck off. Hi, <laughs> Bob Zany. Thank you.